My god, how am I going to get these out? Well, not like that. <laughs> they are absolutely stuck. Hey, what's up my fellow farmers? It's Napoles and welcome back to No Man's Land. So, as you can see, we are currently starting the day with, uh, well, giving our sheep some water. And we're going to move over to the cows because they also require a little bit of water. Not too much, not as much as sheep, but they do require some. And as you can see, the tractor over there is waiting because we're also going to be feeding the cows because they are about to run out of food. And we have lots and lots of food in storage, so it would be a wise idea to give them some food. Let's give them some water and yeah, there we go. They don't they don't really consume all that much uh, water, so that's good. That is not the main job for today, though. Um, it's January and currently the dry corn that we made over there in that small building is at its best. So that is what we're going to be selling today. And we're going to be making quite a lot of money, at least I hope. Alrighty, water tanker and the lorry are back in storage. Uh, one downside about using uh, the lorry and this tanker, um, we can't use this fill point to fill it up. Apparently it is uh, too high above the ground, so I played around with it a little bit. I lowered the ground here and then it is working, but yeah, that completely destroyed the terrain over here. So that was a bit unusable. So we have to find another way to uh, fill it up, but that is fine. As you can see, I have also built the, uh, or I changed the trailer. So we have now a single um, extension on it. It was 15,000 liter capacity. It should now be 16 and a half, if I'm not mistaken. So that is pretty good. But we're going to be driving over here to the TMR mixer. And we're going to give the cows some more food. To see, it is pretty full. So that is excellent. And just position this correctly sort of like this um there we go team 150 thousand liters so yeah we got plenty of food for quite a while and yeah 16 and a half thousand liters that is good so yeah of course i can use the other trailer which has a capacity of 34,000, but this trailer is mainly for the smaller jobs around the farm and this is one of them. And there we go. Texture all of a sudden changed again to the TMR. Yeah, they still have some hay in their um, trough as well. Let's see. How much do you need? Oh, you need quite a bit more. So we can do another full load. As you can see, 7,000 liters of hay is in there. Let's just get the next load of TMR. As you can see, the cows are immediately going to their food trough. So let's fill it up all the way. At least as much as you can. I think I would leave it with two loads. I think we will be very close to full. That would be good. My main concern is the chickens. Or are the chickens, by the way. Because um, we have no food for them at all. And they are running pretty low. There we go. As you can see, chickens only eight and a half thousand liters remaining. So, yeah, that's a bit of a, uh, a concern. But that is something that we will check later. Uh, cows, yep, they are in the green. That is fine for now. I'm just going to park this trailer over here where it's going to live. It's going to live in the uh, dry corn production building. That's the main reason that we purchased this uh, this trailer. And there we go. And that is our dry corn trailer. And talking about dry corn, now we are going to use the big trailer because we are going to sell all the dry corn that we have. While we are filling up, I will show the uh, I will show you the price. It is unfortunately not the best price for some reason, but it is still very good. It is way better than the regular corn, so that is excellent. That's why we did this, of course. Let me just drive over here and let's go ahead and fill it up. Um, if I can find the dry corn that is, there it is. Uh, let me show you the price. Dry corn is 
over here. So usually, oh man, that is decreasing rather fast. It is 24.29 in January, and it is currently 23.20 at the supermarket. So it is around 100 euros lower. It was 23, I don't know, 35 or something when I uh, first looked at it and in January. So yeah, it's a shame. It's not the max price, but like I said, it is still very good. So let's go over to the supermarket and get our money. So it is not our usual selling uh, point. We're going to be pulling in over here. And here we go. There we go. Dry corn. Yeah, the uh, regular sell point does not um, accept the dry corn. So we had to, uh, well, we had to go to the supermarket, but that is fine. Be honest, I don't care who pays for my products as long as I'm getting paid. And there we go. So, not bad. 78,804 plus another 8684 for the environmental score reward. Not bad at all. Let's um, go ahead and get the remaining uh, bit of the dry corn sold as well. Here we go. Final bit 9,025 liters of dry corn. And there we go, 20,871 plus 2300 for the environmental score reward. Not bad for only 9,000 liters. As you can see, I took the, tr took the uh, smaller trailer. I think, uh, yeah, that was fine. We don't need a huge trailer for just 9,000 liters of product. So, um, yeah, we're going to be going back to the farm, of course. And, well, it's January. There's not much we can do in January. We can only uh, keep the animals alive and that's about it. Um, and let me see what else did I do. Oh yeah, I did cut all the grass, by the way, and I made 15 of the Heston grass bales. So that is excellent. They are currently in storage. And well, I think we're going to be moving on to February because then the uh, milk should be at its best. We don't have that much because we already sold a load in September. Oh, we are going off the road. That's not uh, what we want to do. We don't want to be crashing into a tree or drive into the water. But, like I said, we're going to be selling the milk in February. So, yeah, I'll just do some small jobs here and there. Move some pallets. There are a few pallets of fabric that need to be moved. And then uh, I guess I will see you in February. Ooh. <laughs> Whoops. That's not how you drive a tractor, by the way. All right, good morning. Welcome in February. So, um, unfortunately, the milk is already decreasing. Seems like the uh, the forecast was incorrect. I'll show you in just a second because the sheep are running a bit low on food. They are consuming quite a bit. And that's why we uh, I did some uh, grass cutting off camera because they really do need it. Uh, let's see. See if they can go into the trigger. Yes, that's the downside of using um, bill spikes or pellet forks or anything that spikes the Heston bill, they get extremely stuck, which sucks. That's why we have the uh, special trailer. There we go. I can unfold and I can just push them in. There we go, that's better. All right. Yeah, as you can see, we can uh, remove those uh, spikes from the uh, from the bill spike, so we can push the bills in. That's good. But unfortunately, like I said, the milk is already decreasing. As you can see over here, all of a sudden, instead of February, January was the best, and it's even lower than in September. So still, still pretty good, twenty one ninety nine. Uh, but yeah, not as good as I was hoping. But that is fine. It's only fifty euros below. All right, we're going to be giving the sheep these final two bills over here. Um, should be okay. Well, they should get less stuck if you spike them a bit higher. Not that high. Somewhere in the middle, kind of like that. Then you can go in, grab the bills. There we go. Yeah, they are still quite tricky to get off. That is really annoying. As you can see, they are just stuck. You can lower on the ground and there's just no way to get the spikes out. Alright, there we go. 
they are off. Push them in. That one as well. Is it being consumed at all? Oh, it is. Only 614 liters remaining in that bill. All right, that is good. I will leave this here for now. That is fine. Let's jump in the lorry. Oh, turn the engine off. We don't want to be killing our sheep with the uh, exhaust fumes. Get it started up and let's see how much milk our cows have produced. Oh man, all of a sudden this tanker is not working at all anymore. Why is this happening? In the previous episode there was no problem using this tanker. Oh man, did they update something? This is terrible. Alright, now it's working. I uh, changed the wheels on the lorry, so uh, the custom wheels that were on here, they are uh, bigger, they are higher. So maybe that was, I don't know, messing with the tanker, because yeah, these are the white tires, and I did change the tires back to the regular tires, but uh, that doesn't change anything about the height. So maybe it were the wheels on the lorry, I don't know. But we have 11,250 liters. That is correct. We have zero liters in stock. All right, not bad. So close the door and let's get the milk sold. And here we are. We're coming in full speed. And there we go. Not much, but should still be good. That's what I mean. 24,740 plus 2726. Not bad at all. So that is actually all that we can do in February because, yeah, February, we still can't be uh, sowing or planting any crops. The only one that we, that we can do is cotton. And, well, we don't have the money for a, a harvester. How expensive are they? Oh, that one is interesting. Lavender. Uh, I don't have lavender on this map, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, they are expensive. 485. We can afford it, but I'm looking to uh, purchase something else. Anyway, we got to move over to March. And in March, we're going to be selling the sunflowers. That's the wrong button. Um, sunflowers. Let me show you real quick before we crash. We are in February. March should be best. Oh, we are about to crash. <laughs> okay, sort of a straight line. As you can see, 24.17, 24.51. So in March, we should still have a small increase in price. So next month, we're going to be starting with the uh, sunflower selling. And we're going to be finally sowing some more crops. All right, good morning. Welcome in March. I'm not even sure if I already said that. Um, you may think I have short-term memory loss, but no. It has been, um, well, three days since I last recorded this uh this uh, this episode or at least the uh, last portion of this episode so i well kind of lost track of where i were uh, where i was because yeah i just simply did not have time to record due to real life reasons but anyway we are going to sell the sunflowers i was aware or at least i remembered that that was the next job that we had to do um I'm not sure if I also showed you the price for sunflowers, but as soon as we get on a street, we will, or I will show you. Uh, let's see, sunflowers, as you can see, we only have uh, 5,400 uh, 5, liters remaining, currently 24.13, so that is above the max price, which is very good. It's only a small increase uh, since February, so not bad. Oh, we're going off track. So. We're just going to be driving over to the sell point, make a lot of money, and, well, of course we have to uh, sell the last bit of the sunflowers as well, but we will move on to a, well, more bigger job than we are currently doing, because, yeah, we have two, two, I mean three, yeah, these three fields need crops in them, and that is the next job that we're going to be doing. Well, I'm not going to be doing all three fields because I don't think I have enough time uh, for this episode to get all of that done. Because it does take a lot of work to get one field in perfect condition. Not that I mind, but as you may know, it does take a lot of work. But here we go. Time to make some more money. 
And oh boy, look at our bank account shooting up. That is absolutely amazing. Here we go. Let's see how much we've made. 82,081 plus 9,045. Not bad. That brings our bank account to 590,004 euros. Very good. All right, let's get the remaining uh, bit of the sunflowers sold as well. All right, we're back. Last bit of the sunflowers. 5,492 liters, so it's not going to be that impressive. But then again, 13,272 plus 1,462. I have to say, that is not bad at all. Brings our bank account to 604,000 euros and 739. Not bad at all. Why am I reversing like this? Because I think I'm going to be uh, needing to buy some food for the chickens unfortunately so barley was cheapest let's go ahead and do that i'm not going to be buying too much just a few thousand liters like uh five or 48.69 that's good as well because yeah i really don't think we're going to be making it um until the next harvest because we have one field of barley actually growing but uh it's june before we can uh, harvest barley and the chickens let me just show you real quick don't have that much food anymore as you can see only 3500 liters remaining so we're not going to be making it until june which is a bit of a bummer that i have to waste money on barley but yeah it is what it is not to worry luckily we still have 600,929 euros left so i'm going to be delivering this to the chickens and after that well I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but I, yeah, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but I th was thinking about doing uh, oats in one of those fields, in one of the, uh, in the corn or the sunflower field, but I think I'm going to do something else. I'm going to put sorghum in one of those fields and the other two are going to be soybeans. I think the soybeans I already mentioned, but the, uh, the sorghum is going to be in the bottom field over there, which had the corn in it. Why? Well, sorghum is also food for chickens and the reason I wanted to do oats is because that is ready pretty fast and it also provides straw. But yeah, we have one hell of a massive field over there with uh, barley. I, oh shit. I think that's going to be providing us with more than enough straw to keep the cows going because they are not running out. Oh, I, uh, I have to get rid of the uh, eggs. As you can see, I did crash into it once. My bad. Uh, but yeah, the, the cows don't go through their straw that extremely fast. Uh, let me check. We still have some. Yeah, 22,000. So that is still pretty good. And like I said, that big field of barley over there is going to produce, I don't know, probably quite a few bales of straw. So we're not going to be doing oats. We're going to be doing two fields of soybeans and one field of sorghum. So, yeah, I guess I will see you again in April. Well, good morning. Welcome in April. Man, we are flying through the months. Um, yeah, as you can see, we are here at the store with our lorry. That's because I have to buy something. Uh, well, I have to buy multiple things. But since um, the trailer that we currently have usually struggles a little bit with the uh, pellets that we put on them, I think we're going to be buying a low loader. They are not extremely expensive. Um, of course, I'm not going to be going for any of these two. Of course, the biggest one is the best, I hope. Uh, design one, two. Mm, sure, that one is fine. 250 euros extra, sure. The license plate is not needed. I already checked the, sp um, the uh, sale and unfortunately there is nothing on sale. So. That is a bit of a shame, but sure, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to buy it anyway, because I need it. I want it. There we go. 48, uh, 250. And since we are also going to be doing some lime spreading, I have this one. It is rather expensive, but as you can see, it has a very good working width. And I already tested this one out um, a few weeks ago or days ago i don't know and it has a very good working with on the lime as well so this working with is not only for the fertilizer but also for the lime oh man those are some chunky wheels 
They look nice. Shall we go big or standard? Hmm, what does it matter? Probably nothing. Sure, let's go for the BKTs. Why not? You can change the main color to white. Well, that's not really white. What is it? Stainless steel. And yeah, let's leave it as red. So yeah, the capacity is not extremely big, but yeah, 20,000 liters should uh, hopefully cover both of those fields. But that is for a later concern. Well, later, I say that will be very soon. But first, as you already may have guessed, we have to sell some products. Because once again, it is April. That means we gotta sell a lot of wool and a lot of fabric. And by a lot, I really do mean a lot. As you can see, we have 58 pallets of wool and 29 pallets of fabric. Uh, there are still some pallets of wool over there that I moved out of the trigger and uh, that have spawned overnight. And there are three pallets of fabric over there, which also have to be sold, of course. So yeah, luckily this trailer is quite big. Uh, let me just turn the engine off because it is loud. And we are wasting diesel because I'm not going to be finishing up here anytime soon. Because yeah, I am not the best at pellets stacking. So let's go ahead and jump into the Merlot. Well, I also have to uh, spawn the pellets, of course. Because otherwise we can't pick them up. Because as you uh, may have noticed already, they have no collision. And once again, the sound is gone. And the sound is back. There we go. Yeah, that is a uh, weird glitch with this... Uh, this uh, shed but it works unfortunately the uh, spawning of the pellets really sucks so yeah that is also a bit of a bummer so i'm go only going to be spawning i think 10 yeah 10 is doable if you do more than 10 or 11 they will uh, spawn inside the trigger and they go back into storage so yeah unfortunately that is a bit of a bummer as you can see they are sideways which also kind of sucks but yeah there's not much i can do about that that's just the way uh, this shed spawns the pellets. Maybe I will uh, replace this building with the other one that we uh, had in the previous series. Uh, which is... This one? Yeah, this one. As you can see, it is a bit smaller. It only holds 250 pieces, but yeah, then again. I don't think we're ever going to be um, storing 250 pieces. Would be a very good uh, building, actually. Maybe I will replace this shed overnight, off camera. I don't know yet. Even though this building is very good and very nice, it, uh, yeah, with this pallet uh, spawning, it's a bit of a, uh, well, that's just a downside on it. I don't like it. It means that I have to struggle even more with the pallets because, yeah, as you can see, they are spawning sideways. I can't pick up two at the same time. Still have to uh, move about, but yeah, okay. That's just me uh, complaining a little. There we go. So, how much can we load on a trailer? I wonder, can we fit three besides each other? That'd be nice. I have not parked the trailer in the best possible location, but okay. That is fine. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, we can easily fit three uh, pallets next to each other. That's good. That is very good. And also, hopefully the strap... Ooh, the straps work. There we go. Now, those are some big straps, man. Holy hell. But yeah, then again, it makes sense. This is actually a low loader. So normally you, uh, you would load a vehicle onto this. So yeah, you need some big, heavy straps. I think this trailer will also be absolutely amazing for bill stacking all right so let's uh not delay the inevitable let's hopefully get a time lapse started if it's too messy then it will just be a jump cut in any case i will see you in just a second
Mm, all right, here we go. That is one hell of a full trailer. We almost had the perfect amount. If we had one more pallet over here, it would be uh, noisily evenly stacked. But I have to say, we can't complain at this. So this is everything we had. All the pallets that we had in storage and the ones that spawned overnight. So yeah, let's go ahead and get it sold. I think we're going to be extremely rich. Luckily, you can also load on, on the back here. As you can see, there is a... Uh, uh, um, a strapping point so that is very good that you can load it here as well that means that we can bring extra pallets the merlot is waiting for the pallets of fabric that we will load on um, with the next load first we're going to be selling all the wool as you can see 71 pallets so that means 71,000 liters the lorry is struggling a little bit but that is fine luckily we are still able to move and i have to say with this trailer i had no problems um um how do you say that that it was slipping and sliding all over the place that it was moving on its own as you can see it is a bit unstable that's because of course it is overloaded but yeah it was not moving around at all so yeah it is uh well very good and what's also going to be good is the money we're going to be making. Here we go. I hope I can get one big lump sum. Nope, that's not going to happen. God damn it, those two pallets in front didn't sell all the way. Shit. My bad. But then again, 259,946 plus 28,646. And another 2,103 and 231. Oh my life. Look at our bank account. 712,823 euros. I think we are doing quite well for ourselves. Not bad. All right. Um, time to get the fabric loaded and sold. I'm not sure if I showed the price of wool, but let me just do it again. 36.90. So yeah, above the max price. Very good. Well, that is something you don't see every day. Uh, I was just trying to load these uh, pellets, but when they spawned, as you can see, two of them are stuck in the ground. Man, and I can't get them out. Oh my life, how am I going to do this? It already lifted up the uh, the Merlot. It did wheelie, but um, they are just absolutely completely stuck. My God, how am I going to get these out? well not like that <laughs> they are absolutely stuck um, okay let me just uh, try to get these uh, free and hopefully get them on the trailer and get them sold well it seems to work like that if you use your tractor as a battering ram like that then it works man alive okay so yeah, I had to, as you can see, I had to use uh, super strength on the uh, on the tractor to uh, get the uh, pallet out of the ground because also using super strength and pulling it out of the ground that was not working at all. So let me just put this over here. The tractor can go away and we can continue loading. All right, we're coming up on the final pallets, but unfortunately, as you can see, one pallet has well spawned in the ground a little bit again. So. Yeah, I would just try to uh, ram it out again, see if I can use the uh, the Merlot for that. Uh, okay, let me just put this over here. Yeah, it is odd. I had it, um, well, with none of the wool pellets, and it happened to, well, three of the uh, fabric pellets, so that is pretty, pretty weird. Um, let's see if I can just uh, try to do it when I'm driving. Hopefully that will also be rough or hard enough to get it unstuck. Well, it moved, but it didn't get out of the ground. Maybe if we can push it back into the trigger, then it will go back into the uh, storage. And hopefully if it respawns, it will spawn normally. Yeah, that is annoying. Very, very, very annoying. Let's move this one out of the way, just in case something bad happens and this one also gets stuck. Very weird, I haven't had this problem, well, ever. 
let's see. Maybe if I need to have more speed. Speed and power is usually the answer. Let's see if we can go from this side. And otherwise I would just pick up my tractor again since it's not that heavy. Use that as a battering ram. Alright, let's make this work. Come on. Oh, for a second I thought it was unstuck. But no, it is not unstuck. That really, really is annoying. Um, okay. Can I get the uh, forks on there? On this side? Okay, it is showing as registering that I've picked it up. But as you can see, <laughs> that is not working. We do have a bouncing Merlot though. That is... Uh, something that you don't see every day uh, okay let me just um, activate the uh, super strength let's see if this will work there we go so yeah as you can see it is now no longer stuck we can pick it up man I don't understand okay super strength has been deactivated again so weird so so very very weird but apparently if you uh, hit the pallet with a, uh, well, with a, with a uh, telehandler or with the tractor, apparently you have more power than when you are ramming it full speed. So that is a bit odd, but sure, I don't mind. Well, I do mind actually. It is a, a problem that should not exist, to be honest. Okay, um, this can go back into storage on the cover. Right here. There we go. Let's jump into the lorry and let's get the fabric sold. Did I put this in a weird position? I did. Okay, hopefully it is strapped. If it isn't, hopefully it doesn't fly off. 26 pallets of fabric. That is not bad. I thought I had more. I thought I had 29, but apparently not. Yeah, we got them all, so sure. Okay, let's go to the sell point and get them sold. Okay, so as you can see, I redid the straps and we have 32 pallets actually. So let's see how much money we're going to be making. Quite a lot, I think. Here we go. Get it all sold. Oh man, they're not selling. Come on. Don't be a bitch. There we go. Just one big lump sum of money. Oh man, look at the bank account. Cheese Louise. <laughs> oh my god. 362,000. 362, that is cool. Nine and uh, 39,933 euros. Oh my life, you guys. We are stinking rich. 1.1 1. <laughs> 1. 1 million. We have made our first million. Holy shit. That is absolutely amazing. And on that bombshell, I think this is also a good time to end today's episode. The fumbling and messing around with the pallets has taken up all the time that I have for today. And well, all the work that we have to do is way too much to feel it fit in this episode. Okay, so next episode we will definitely sow all the other fields. But for today, this is it. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget guys, hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe as well. Until the next one guys, bye bye.